to protect Greece at this stage of its major reforms from international speculators that are shooting up the spreads and undermining all our efforts to date. Because even if we cut everything that we're saying, free salaries, raise taxes, even if we do all that stuff, mm -hmm. if we keep being forced to borrow at these incredibly high rates, a deficit won't go down. If Europe puts that gun on the table and says, this is what, if ever the need arises, what specifically we will do in order to support Greece with loans, mm -hmm. mind you, not handouts, stuff that Greece will have to pay back, but we will not allow Greece to borrow at higher rates than anyone else, we will give it that breathing space, okay. then speculation would die and Papandreou would be able to apply the very difficult measures. The Greek people are willing to take them. Mm -hmm. Remarkable but support for measures that are not popular But more in support from the EU is needed than, than the Greeks and the spe most importantly the markets have seen to date. Do you agree, Vicky Ford? Oh, no, I'm, I'm extremely hit, pleased to hear what you're saying about you know, Greece needing to swallow its own pill. And you know, you, it is in a state of huge deficit coupled with huge external debt, which you know, we also have similar situations in some ways in the UK, although different as well. And you've in also, Italy, and in Spain, yeah, and in Portugal, You've also and got Ireland. what is facing the market, a huge refinancing risk coming up in the next couple of months. So you don't have the, in a way, luxury of being able to think, you know, when do we actually need to go to somebody to borrow? Because they have got it's a large proportion of debt. But does the European Mark Union you? need no. to provide more political support and a more concrete strategy than it has been? Well, I think if you, were, if you put yourself as an investor or as a pension fund that holds these bonds, and so I don't think you can just blame market speculators and think, how am I going to get my money back? Um, is it going to be uh, repaid? Is this money that falls due in, in next month and, and the following week going to come back? Now, what we have heard from you um, is an extreme amount of work happening in Greece right now. But there's to demands, come up but nothing on offer from the EU. Well, I there? think that that's an issue for the Eurozone. If, this, if the Eurozone decide they want to help another Eurozone country for Eurozone... But I mean, you can't just stand... This that's is what different. the British politicians have been doing well, a little no. bit. It's sort of standing on the sidelines saying it's nothing to do with me. Peter, can you answer help? the question? Do you think that the EU needs to provide more support? not just demand? Well, when it comes down to looking at a regulation and some of these markets, which I think is quite important, because these credit default swaps, which is the insurance by which you use to make sure that governments don't default on their bonds, have been subject to speculation by hedge funds and others around the world, and that's a manipulation. Uh, and it's been done untransparently through the, perhaps through markets which are over the counter, which we're looking into now. And so we are currently going through legislation which will actually bring to the table some of the arrangements which need to be in place to make sure that it's a far more open and transparent market. This will help the market set prices in a proper fashion. At the moment, if it actually forces up the prices of these CDSs in such a way that it costs the government deficit in Greece more than it would have perhaps expected, then this is a manipulation of that, 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 that process. That needs to be dealt with and Europe needs to do more about that. But are you saying actually that there should be no more support than there is currently? And, uh, and in fact you don't, uh, I mean we heard your own social democrats in, in the parliament in the chamber this week saying that there must be solidarity. Mm -hmm. Do you not agree? I always think there should be solidarity. It's a Eurozone and it's a Europe which has to work together. Well, friends need friends. It sounds a bit wishy-washy. Well, 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 to, to, to be very clear, okay. I, I support what Stavros says when it comes to leaving Greece, for instance, for six weeks after the disastrous figures have been published by the Greeks themselves. It took the European Commission, Mr. Almunia, the old commissioner, six weeks, one week before he went off office, six weeks to react. So the market in that time we did whatever. So that was wrong. Another example where we did not support. 2004, the Greeks came up with their cheating uh, figures. They said, we cheated in order to come into the euro that was not your government, was the predecessor, Mr. Alogos Koufis, to say it very clear. And it was an absolute lie, and by the way. It was, did not cheat he was a liar. He was a betrayer because it was not cheated. He did it for internal reasons. Now, we knew from that on that we have to change the Euro statistical legislation. Eurostat had to be stronger in every member state of the Eurozone. What did the member states do? Also Germany, also the now finance minister, Mr. Schäuble.